Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience and today we're over at Eleanor, the arms dealer and her dog Teddy, the one we rescued from the cage, the cage and we're here to um, see whether or not the uh, that bloated, uh, legendary bloated one has come back or, or whether or not we can actually even hear the gong when it goes off, if it goes off. But I'm also here to invest in Eleanor's store, and I think that's how we keep things running, is by investing in the, the little traders that live in caravans. And so I'm going to invest 500 caps in her store, and, and then we'll go and see the bears, uh, hopefully the gong will go off, uh, and then we'll go and see the legendary bloated one, or it might just be a bloated one, or, or any other variation of a bloated one. Right, uh, we'll just have a quick look in Eleanor's caravan. Um, see if there's any magazines in there. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll leave that then. <laughs> yes, Teddy does seem to have forgotten that we let him out of the cage and it's a little bit too territorial. So we'll leave him to it and head over towards where the uh, bears and the legendary gong thing happens. So that house I'm looking at there, uh, the one back there on the left, is the one where the legendary bloated one lives. But in order to get there, you have to take out the bears. Okay, so that's the gong, so there's definitely something there. Um, yes, we'll kill the bears and double back to get the other thing, the bloated one. Right, uh, let's find the bears, there they are. Now, of course, bears, um, you can hunt bears all day long. I mean, there's always two or three down here. And uh, add a few carrots in and you can make a bear... Stop right there. Yes, you can make a bear dish at the uh, campfire um, and it's worth 115 caps of anyone's money. So, hunting bears is a very good way to make money. So yes, this is the house in question, the one with the lorry around the side of it and a, a bit of furniture holding it up to the side, so there's definitely something up there, oh yeah, I can see it, bloated glowing one, right, okay, that shouldn't be too bad, right, uh, let's nip around the other side and, uh, yeah, get this party started. Having a jetpack with me makes things so much easier. I don't like this. So it was literally yesterday in the, in the game world, so it's only been a day since I took out the legendary bloated one, and now a glowing bloated one has replaced it. Uh, and I don't think that sort of weapon's going to be any good. Right. Where are you? Uh, it's gone. Oh no, there it is. Yourself. Okay, so this step I've just jumped over, I mean, it can't get over that step. It's sort of like, you know, unless you open the door, that's the only way it can get out, it's through the door. Or unless it falls out, if it runs over here and falls over itself, then it can get out. But otherwise, it can't get out. Look, it, it, it runs to the edge, but it can't get through. It can't jump up. It's only if it falls over can it get over. So yeah, so remember that when you come in here. Open the door, run back out here, jump on this level and you should be alright. As long as you don't get too close to you, that is. So, that's the bloated glowing one, the gong and all that I've shown you there. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this short video. Uh, it's basically like uh, a copy Something of the other video like I here. sent out. But, uh, yeah, so like that this. explains something. Anyway, like so... You know, the door I was referring to is this door here with that tra like trigger this. on it. If you click that first, if you get in and open that, then it can get out. Otherwise, it can't get out. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed the short video, and I'll see you all again very soon. Uh, bye for now.